Hello, my name is Maingi. Today we are at a Brazilian restaurant in Itaewon. It's known as Tabon Brazil. Um, yes, uh, as everybody knows, uh, Brazil is a, a fusion of different cultures, African, European, Native American cultures. Gotten food from the bar. Uh, we're just eating it and yeah, we're eating this before we have our main course. So that we could like, it's kind of like just an appetizer. So we should remember not to eat too much before everything comes. Okay, I've got rice with beef inside it. And I do not know what it's called. So, that. There are mashed potatoes here. It looks like ice cream, but. Okay. That is interesting. And then there's chicken here. There's a chicken stew that I don't also do not know what it's called. I actually know nothing, absolutely nothing about Brazilian food. Even though I should probably have researched a lot more. To be honest, I came here very unprepared. I was gonna go to the Nigerian restaurant today, but we ended up here instead. So now we've gotten garlic chick uh, garlic bread. Um, it's right here. I'm just gonna bite into it. Mm. It's really good. I like it. Okay. The food is actually really, really, really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring it here. Meat. Actually, this is the top sloin okay. and beef rum. Okay. 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 Kind of well done. Okay, so now we the meat's been brought. This is as you heard him. It's I think it's top line and like it's well done. Um, I'm gonna just try a bit of it. Oh my God. He is definitely doing something with that meat. I think it has a bit of butter in it or something. He's definitely changed up a lot of the things. It's not just your your average steak or grilled meat. <laughs> it tastes really, really good. I would really recommend that actually the people come and try this. Again, amazing. So we've got more beef. Um, I'm just gonna cut right into it. Nice hot, well done, very decently juicy, you know. Oh, ah. Okay, but then out of the two, I prefer the first round of meat that was brought in. That was really nice tasting and all of that. Pick up the pizza. Okay. I can cut the top right here. You can grab it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Also, you just can make it. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. So, you saw the explanation. So, we're gonna try this. Okay. Let's see. It's definitely more chewy than the previous one, more juicy as well, and It's like more chewy and juicy than the other ones. The other ones are a bit more like, you know, what, what, what would I call it? They had a bit more 
is the texture. This yeah. is chewier, juicier, a bit more salty maybe. But then as well, I would say it also just tastes really, really good. Okay, so, uh, what, what do you call it? He called it the... Okay, I do not know what he called it, but it's one of those. So, I'm gonna cut into it and then try it. Oh. Oh. Compared to the previous food, previous meat, this has a bit more of that the texture, but then all the same, same levels of salt, same level of tastiness. Look at this is in food you eat every day. First of all, you will get gout or you will become really fat and big or whatever. So you gotta be careful, but it is just really, really good. And so, in, in African countries, in East Africa, you have the same type of thing, but it's called Nyamachoma. Nyamachoma would literally translate and mean, to mean, what's it called, burnt meat, but it's not burnt, it's grilled meat. So, in East Africa, this would be Nyamachoma. In Southern Africa, it would be called Rai. Rai, we already tried it at the South African place back then. We're gonna talk about what we know about Brazil. Um, Brazil is a huge country, home to very many different people. Capital is Brasilia, the largest city is Sao Paulo. Um, it is home to very, a very huge African scene. You can, you know, there's stuff like Carnival and all of that. So in northern Brazil, in states like what's it called? In states like Bahia, uh, in cities like Salvador, Salvador in northern Brazil is home to a very huge African scene. Uh, the carnivals there are different, the food there is different, more African, Afro influence. So yeah, that's all I know about Brazil. Okay, we got more meat. And, well, that's a lot of meat. I've eaten so much meat today. Got it? Mm, I like that. I think with some of the meat, they're doing something extra with it. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Dropped it. Okay. Okay, so they brought chicken heart so we can try it out. Uh, I haven't eaten anything like this in a very, very long time. I am gonna try it. Hopefully it goes well. Ah, chicken heart. Here it goes. Not bad. Okay, gonna try a bit more. They for sure added something into it. It's not just chicken heart just thrown in and then boiled or something. It, it tastes good. It actually tastes good. I would recommend people try it as well. Don't skip it. Okay, more. Oh. Okay, so this has a bit of fat on the side. Uh, considering how much I <laughs> exercise, I'm just gonna remove the fat. Uh, not gonna happen. But this, let's try. Okay. And then the juices. 
craziness of it. Okay, so he brought pork belly. Um, very fatty on this side, but meat on this side. So, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the fat so I can only have the meat. All this is fat. Look at that. Lots of fat. What I am gonna do is have this. Try this. Oh, no. that is good. Hmm? This actually is really nicely done. Okay, the fat part, no. But the meat itself, really nicely done. But actually, that different taste, um, that comparative taste between the beef and the chicken heart and this is like, it's what makes me appreciate the taste of this so much. <laughs> but it's my food. <laughs> no food? <laughs> no food. Uh, today I am only cameraman. Oh, okay, so this is garlic beef. Just have a taste of it. There is a garlicky taste in the food. Okay. Wow, I've eaten a lot today, a lot, like, like a lot, like, I think maybe I'm gonna hit a kilo, how many kilos do you think? I think like you ate two kilos, two kilos, or three two kilos. kilos of meat, oh yeah. my god, oh my god, so, actual piece left one for friend, mm -hmm. you wanna take it? Okay. 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 So it's also brought sausages. Since Tilo cannot eat pork, I'm gonna have his. That is hot. It's it? very different, yeah. Oh, okay. So, is this the last one? Yeah, actually, finally, this is the last one. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. You want to take something more? No, 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 no. We've had a lot of you food. Like enough? Yeah. Yeah. It is a lot of food. Actually, there's a lot of meat. We and, have and the food is really, really good. Uh, you this enjoy? is the chef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we yeah. really appreciate it. Thank oh, you so okay, much. Okay. So, also, we have pineapple dessert menu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have the dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it here. Okay, okay. Since, okay. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, <laughs> guys, <laughs> the food started piling up on our plates because we can't eat anymore. Uh, it is so much food. It is just so much food, and a lot of it is really, really good. It's really, really soft. Really, just really, really soft overall. chicken is extremely soft I don't know I'm a I'm the type of person to prefer meat to be sort of like in between dry and half dry like something like this I really like it. but something like this not so much so again still fan I'm leaning toward the beef and the pork that we've been served that's enough. That's enough. Thank you. Okay. So, for dessert, we're gonna have 
pineapple slices. Um, I love pineapples. It's nice, sweet, sugary, very, very warm.